In July 2015, Dan Petrescu joined the growing Foreign Legion, being lured to the Chinese Super League. After only five months in charge of Jiangsu Suning, Petrescu led the club to the Chinese FA Cup for the first time. It's never easy to adapt, no matter where you are. I've played in Italy and the UK. And as a coach, I've been to Qatar, Russia, Poland, and now I'm in China. It's never easy. But I feel I'm now used to it, thanks to the ideal conditions here. It's a very beautiful city. This team always wants to win. We want to win trophies, even though historically this club hasn't won a great deal. But since I arrived last year, we have managed to win a trophy, and now we want more. We're a very ambitious team, it's a great city, and I feel at home here. It's great because he's a coach that has actually played, so he knows every corner of the pitch and what each player can contribute to the team. It'll be a learning curve for me because he was a successful player during his career and now he's striving for that as a coach, so hopefully I can help him achieve success. When you win a trophy, everything feels fantastic, especially now that the team is playing in the Asian Champions League. It was a difficult task to achieve, but we did it. It was the first trophy the club had won, because we'd never managed to win the championship or the cup. So to be the first coach in the club's history to achieve that made me very happy. A talented defender, Petrescu made 95 appearances for Romania. He was an integral part of the team that achieved their best FIFA World Cup result in 1994. The tournament in 1994 was the best World Cup that Romania ever played. We got to the quarterfinals but lost to Sweden on penalties. However, we managed to beat Argentina in the previous match, which was extraordinary. After that impressive showing in 1994, Petrescu signed for Sheffield Wednesday in England. Before leaving for Chelsea under manager Glenn Hoddle, he quickly became a fan favourite. The time I spent in the UK was the highlight of my playing career. Italy was great. But in the UK, I felt there was this extraordinary transformation happening. I had a great time at Sheffield Wednesday and Chelsea, and I think my best spell as a player was whilst I was playing for Chelsea. During that period, we won five trophies, including the League Cup, the FA Cup, and the UEFA Super Cup against Real Madrid in Monte Carlo. It was an extraordinary time. The only thing missing was winning the Premier League. But winning the FA Cup was amazing. It was absolutely fantastic winning it for the first time in over 20 years. And the atmosphere was sensational the week before and after the game. Hoddle left Chelsea to become England head coach. But two years later, they met again when Romania beat England at the 1998 World Cup. It was really strange for me because their coach was Glenn Hoddle, who had been my coach at Chelsea. So I felt bad for him. Also, their left back was Graham Lasseau, a former teammate of mine at Chelsea. So when I went past him to score the goal, I felt bad about that too. However, as a Romanian, I was really happy, individually, for my team and for my country, because it was a special moment. Now Dan Petrescu is focused on the potential of Jiangsu Suning and the bright future for the Chinese Super League. The championship in China grows as each day goes by. You just have to look at all the foreign players coming to play here. There are lots of players and coaches who have come over, and a lot of money is being invested. So it's possible it could become just as strong as a European league.